Hey everybody, this is Anthony with you again from Biblical Truth and Reality, and welcome back to another video. This video in particular is about Steven Anderson and his YouTube video receiving strikes, and probably on thin ice to be taken down. Many of his videos have been deleted already. You can probably check it out for yourself. And I'm not surprised by this, brethren, from the kind of hate speech and false doctrine that he's been promoting. I'm not saying that to be bitter against him. But brethren, pray for Steve Anderson and many other people who are into the cult, false teaching of churchianity, that God will open his eyes to the truth about the Sabbath, the dietary laws, the Ten Commandments, that he needs to follow the moral law of God and stop following a cult. Once again, pray for them, brethren. But I show this video to show the evidence. All of you take care, love the Lord Jesus Christ, and fear God and keep his commandments. Hey everybody, Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faith Four Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Just a quick reminder that none of my videos are copyrighted, and you can download them, mirror them to your channel, you can chop them up, remix them, um, do whatever you want with them. You can monetize them, you know, I don't care what you do with them, they're public domain. And the reason I bring that up is that my YouTube channel is on thin ice these days. So basically, Steve Anderson is saying that we can make comments on his videos, r review his videos, possibly expose them, yada yada, which that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know if his video is going to be taken down, which is why I stopped what I was doing and wanted to make this video. I do not make this with maliciousness, but with showing evidence of the fruit of following churchianity false doctrine. His channel is on thin ice these days. Well, Stephen Anderson, I am not surprised by this. You preach a false gospel, false doctrine, and promote hate speech against sodomites, heathens, the previous president of the United States, hoping for his death, and kick people out of your church building by humiliation, and are banned from many countries. Honestly, you brought this upon yourself. I am not rejoicing at this. But I do pray for people like Stephen Anderson, Matt Powell, and many people who follow the false gospel and teach churchianity false doctrine. I pray that God will open their eyes to the truth about the true gospel and sound doctrine about, for example, the moral law of God, the Sabbath, dietary laws, the Ten Commandments, etc., and I will leave some links to some of my example videos to help them, if they watch this video, to learn sound doctrine. But his channel is on thin ice these days. I'm not surprised. Um, there have been a lot of articles coming out lately where people like the ADL are, you know, calling for my channel to be removed from YouTube. And YouTube has been removing a lot of channels. I've been getting a lot of strikes on my channels. Other people are getting a lot of strikes. So my entire YouTube channel is in danger of getting deleted and disappearing. And so all of the 6,000-some videos that are on there would just disappear in a moment. So in order for this preaching to remain available for people to watch best way to keep it alive is just for as many people as possible to download it 
and re-upload it to their channels, you know. So whatever your favorite sermons are, whichever sermons you like the most or you think are the most important, you know, feel free to download them and upload them to your channel. They have been shutting down many channels and striking many of them, or putting strikes on their channel. I know I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it's important for you to understand, brethren, I'm not saying this to rejoice over Stephen Anderson's fall in his video. Or his the fall of his YouTube channel. I'm not rejoicing in that. I don't personally pray for anything horrible and bad to happen to him or his family. No, I don't. I pray for God to open his eyes. And maybe through the removal of his channel and his videos, which promote false doctrine overall, that God will open his eyes to the truth of what he's teaching is false. Just to point that out, I'm not bitter against him or anybody else. But it's not an accident that he's getting all these strikes and many of his videos are being taken away. He promotes hate speech, false doctrine, preaches a false gospel. What do you expect? This is persecution against a false teacher. Not a true Bible-believing Christian. There's a big difference. And uh, even better is when you can, um, you know, go through the sermons and chop them up into smaller pieces and just upload two, three, four, five-minute videos on particular topics because uh, those videos tend to get a lot of views. We got to get the message out of what the Bible actually teaches and pre Need to get the message out about what the Bible actually preaches. Well, if that's the case, then you should start by listening to people who had their heads straight about the true gospel and true sound doctrine. I myself am an example of this. Perhaps you should watch some videos from my channel. Or there are many other people who had their heads straight about what the Bible actually teaches. Mr. Steven Anderson, you do not. You don't preach sound doctrine. Some things I do agree with you on, like after the tribulation video, walking to Zion or marching to Zion video. Yes, I agree with that. But there's many areas that you are very gravely in error in. I'm not saying this to exalt myself or my channel. I'm to exalt the King James Bible and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I preach sound doctrine that's in the scripture by the book I Believe. The same book that you profess to believe, Mr. Stephen Anderson. So if you're looking for channels for people to watch, there's many people out there, like myself and many others, that had their heads straight. So if you want people to start watching channels that promote sound doctrine and truth, send them our way to watch our videos. Just a suggestion. Just because today people are being brainwashed by Hollywood. They're being brainwashed by the news media. It, it's like there's only one viewpoint that's allowed. And so, you know, we need the truth of God's word to thunder forth. And I'm not just talking about the gospel. I mean, the gospel is paramount. But we need to get everything out there of what the Bible teaches, even on unpopular subjects, even what the world is going to label as hate speech or whatever. Get the message out there, even those things that the world considers hate speech. Well, like I said in my previous comments, Stephen Anderson, you are guilty of biblical hate speech. What that means is hate speech that goes against God's word. <laughs> I'm just going to say this again. For God's sake, you prayed for the death of the President of the United States. That's hate speech. You use inappropriate, vulgar terms against sodomites, like faggots. You also kick people out of your church building using humiliation and intimidation. I've seen the videos, which are taken down now. <laughs> That's why I can't show the evidence. So what you are promoting is exactly what I am against. The way you carry out your beliefs is in a fleshly, impulsive, incorrect manner. 
and I believe God is correcting you on this. By using the government or whoever it is that's taking away your videos. In truth, the message you want to get out is that you teach false doctrine and you're being, I believe, corrected and silenced, at least for now, by the Holy Spirit. I believe he's taking action against you and possibly many others. Maybe by this you'll learn to learn sound doctrine. I pray you do. You know, we need to get the truth out on all subjects. And so, uh, you know, keep these videos going. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would download and mirror them. And then also, just to let you know, we do have a channel set up on BitChute, which supposedly is, is not going to censor us. So you can check that out at bitshoot.com slash sanderson1769. So that's where some of the harder-to-find sermons are that have been deleted many times by YouTube. Again, that's bitshoot.com slash sanderson1769. But it's just there's such a small audience over there. We don't want to give up on YouTube because YouTube is still where the masses are. And uh, we want to make sure that you know God's Word continues to thunder forth and that preachers are not silenced. We've got to cry aloud and spare not and preach from the housetops. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day. So he has to go to an alternative channel or some kind of website to make his videos because they're being shut down. Again, I'm not surprised by this. Anyways, brethren, once again, I make this video not to rejoice over his YouTube channel downfall but to pray that he gets his head straight, that he's a false teacher. Same with Matt Powell and many people. I pray that God will open their eyes. Let me close out this video by referencing a passage of Scripture. 2 Peter chapter 2, starting in verse number 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. I believe this identifies with Stephen Anderson very well, and churchianity itself. Pray for Stephen Anderson, brethren, and many other people. And people sucked into churchianity itself. They open their eyes to the truth that God will lead them in all righteousness and all truth. That churchianity is a cult and something to be forsaken. I do pray that these people will get their eyes opened before it's too late. Because if they continue in their false doctrine teaching and unscriptural false doctrine ways according by the authority of scripture they will not be allowed into God's kingdom that's serious so all of you brethren love the Lord Jesus Christ fear God and keep his commandments and read and believe the King James Bible thanks